In 13 days, Texans will head to the polls up for grabs for the first time without an incumbent in more than a decade. The state's top two offices, governor and lieutenant governor. And to understand what kind of leaders the candidates could be, we took an in-depth look at the biggest challenges in their lives, the moments that helped shape them. KXAN's Josh Hinkle sat down with the Democrat running for lieutenant governor, state uh, senator Leticia Vandepute, to talk about family and the heartache that almost kept her from running. You talk about your children, you have six children. We have six children. Hey, all out of the house. They're all to, and on someone else's health care plan, so absolutely. Um, that's, that's real success. Pete and I are, are so, so blessed uh, to have the six kids and now six nearly perfect grandchildren. You mentioned the tragedy in your family. I mean, there, it, it probably was a very difficult choice. Yes. Your father passed away. You had a grandchild that passed away. Well, in May, we lost um, our grandson. And um, it was probably one of the worst things that can happen to a family when you wake up and the baby doesn't. It was sudden infant death syndrome. And then a few weeks later, my dad died instantly in a traffic accident, but it didn't stop there. We had an employee at our small business that died in an accident, and a beloved uncle who really was my husband's mentor, and then my husband's mom. So really within a period of four months, we lost so much and that's why there was the hesitancy not that I couldn't do this or that I couldn't convince people and in fact maybe it was all of those losses that helped our family understand when you lose so much your priorities really get into focus and hearing the lieutenant governor candidates and particularly my opponent now that is not the Texas that I see for my children who are grown and my grandchildren. It's not the Texas of opportunity, of a great public education system, of, of working together so that we've got a highway system that meets our needs and secure water supplies for the future. We've got a great state, but if you just govern by no, then that limits opportunities. And Texas is a can-do state. We've reached out to Vandepute's Republican opponent, Senator Dan Patrick, for an interview for nearly two months. Comparatively speaking, since his primary runoff win this spring, he's done very little press. Finally, his campaign agreed to sit down with us one on one. But this week, just a few days before the interview, his spokesman called to say the schedule suddenly got a lot busier and it was Dan's decision to cancel. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.